Hi everyone. Today in this video let us discuss one of the medications azathioprine. In this video we will discuss what is azathioprine, what are the clinical uses, what is TPMT test, what is the effect of this medication on gastrointestinal hypersensitivity, all such facts we will discuss in this video. First of all let us see what are the clinical use of this medication. Azathioprine is one of the medications that is classified as an anti-metabolite. It is one of the purine anti-metabolites which has several clinical indications. One of its clinical use is in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. This medication belongs to the group of drugs called as disease modifying anti-rheumatic drugs. It is also used as immunosuppressant therefore it can be used to prevent organ transplant rejection. Azathioprine can also be used for the treatment of inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Now let us see how this medication works. Just we have seen that azathioprine is an anti-metabolite. It is classified as purine anti-metabolite. That means it acts like purine but it inhibits the purine metabolism. Azathioprine is a prodrug that is going to be converted into another active metabolite 6 mercaptopurine this can inhibit the sense of DNA, RNA and proteins. It is also converted into another metabolite 6-thioguanine. These metabolites are acting like false purine metabolites. They are going to be incorporated into the DNA. However, they are non-functional. This prevents the cell division. Therefore, it reduces the amplification of B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes. As the T lymphocytes proliferation is reduced, it also reduces the secretion of IL-2, interleukin-2. IL-2 plays a key role in increasing the signaling between the T lymphocytes and their proliferation. When the IL-2 secretion is inhibited, T lymphocyte proliferation is reduced, resulting in the decreased immune response. Finally, it inhibits the secretion of antibodies like immunoglobulin M and immunoglobulin G. In this way, azathioprine acts as an anti-metabolite and it inhibits the DNA, RNA and protein synthesis. Azathioprine is well absorbed and the peak plasma time can be observed within 1 to 2 hours. It is metabolized in the liver and one of its metabolite is 6 mercaptopurine which can be used as an individual drug. Another metabolite is the 6-thioguanin. Now let us the precautions of this medication. Azathioprine is a immunosuppressant. Therefore, use of this medication can increase the risk of malignancies. Particularly, it can increase the risk of skin cancer if it is used for a prevention of organ transplant rejection. Lymphoma may develop after transplantation. Therefore, the lowest dose should be used for immunosuppression. When it is used for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, again skin cancer may be increased. Particularly, when it is combined with alkylating agents like cyclophosphamide, chlorambucil, or melphalan. These alkylating agents can produce bone marrow suppression as well as they can also increase the risk of lymphoma and skin cancer. Azathioprine can increase the T-cell lymphoma. Even though it is a rare condition, it can be observed when this medication is combined with human necrosis factor blockers. Another important precaution is the development of cytopenias. Azathioprine can produce severe myelosuppression that is bone marrow depression resulting in leukopenia. It can also produce anemia due to reduction of RBC. Leukopenia is a condition of decreased white blood cells and thrombocytopenia results in the abnormally low count of platelets. Finally, pancytopenia results in the decreased levels of red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. Azathioprine can produce all these three conditions leukopenia, thrombocytopenia and pancytopenia. These hematological toxicities are dose related and they are highly increased with higher dose of azathioprine. In case of development of leukopenia, the dose of azathioprine may be reduced or it may be temporarily withdrawn. The complete blood count should be checked every week during the first month and afterwards for every two weeks in the second and third months. On further treatment, a monthly assessment of blood count should be done to check for any development of leukopenia. In people with thiopurine S-methyl transferase or nucleotide diphosphate deficiency, 
the risk of myelotoxicity increases. This enzyme is responsible for breakdown of thiopurine drugs. In people with deficiency of this enzyme, azathioprine levels are abnormally elevated, leading to its toxic effects. This may result in significant bone marrow depression. Therefore, in case of severe myelosuppression, the test for TMPT deficiency should be done in such people. TMPT testing cannot substitute for complete bed count. Therefore, a complete bed count test should be done regularly to check for any development of myelosuppression. Serious infections may be possible with use of azathioprine because this medication acts as an immunosuppressant. Bacterial, viral, fungal and protozoal infections may be possible with use of this medication. Even the opportunistic infections may be more elevated during azathioprine therapy due to immunosuppression. Normally, opportunistic infections cannot exist under full activity of immunity. But with use of azathioprine, immunity is suppressed, leading to the development of opportunistic infections. In case of any development of viral infections, the dose of azathioprine should be reduced. Azathioprine should not be used in the pregnant woman. It can produce fatal harmfulness. Therefore, it should be avoided in the pregnant woman. Even this medication produces gastrointestinal hypersensitivity. This may result in severe nausea and vomiting. It may also develop diarrhea, rashes, fever, muscle pains, hypotension and elevated liver enzymes. The symptoms of GA toxicity can be observed within the first few weeks of the therapy. In people who reuse this medication, these hypersensitive reactions can be developed within few hours. Now let us see the side effects of this medication. Azathioprine can cause bone marrow depression. This may result in leukopenia as one of its important side effects. It can also increase the risk of infections. Other side effects like abdominal pain, muscle pain and hepatotoxicity can also be observed. It can also produce joint pains in few people. Nausea and vomiting can also be observed as a common side effect. Azathioprine can also produce alopecia, loss of hair in the people. How to take this medication? Azathioprine is available as tablets. It is available at different strengths starting from 25 mg to 100 mg. It is also available as a powder for injection. For the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, the dose of this medication depends on the body weight of the patient. Initially, it can be started at a daily dose of 1 mg per kilogram of body weight. This dose can be given either orally or by intravenous injection. This total daily dose can be divided into two doses or it can be given as a single dose based on the tolerability of the patient. After 6 to 8 weeks of the treatment, the dose can be slowly increased for every 4 weeks. The maximum dose is 2.5 mg per kilogram of the body weight. For the treatment of Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, the dose again depends on the body weight and patient conditions. It is variable from 1.5 to 3 mg per kilogram of the body weight. For prevention of transplant rejection, azathioprine can be given at an initial dose of 3 to 5 mg per kilogram. So that's all about this medication azathioprine which is a immunosuppressant as well as disease modifying anti-rheumatic drug. It is a purine anti-metabolite and it acts as a false metabolite therefore it inhibits the metabolism of purines thereby it can inhibit DNA RNA synthesis as well as protein synthesis. It also acts as an immunosuppressant therefore it can be used to prevent organ transplant rejection. However, this medication can produce myelosuppression and cytopenias. In the people with TMPT deficiency, it can produce significant myelosuppression. Gastrointestinal hypersensitivity can be observed in few people leading to nausea and vomiting. So that's all about this medication azathioprine. I hope this video is useful to you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.